Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and this is going to be game number 5 from the clan war between uh, Team EG and Team m and and this time, this time, and by the way if you haven't seen the previous 4 games then do watch them because some spoilers are going to be incoming and stuff like that so yeah this time after Axlav lost the game uh, Team EG has chosen Hydra to play out um, game number 5 and uh, yep so looks like Team Evil Geniuses has unleashed the Kraken and uh, let's see if he's going to be wreaking havoc <laughs> upon Vader in this game on Scrap Station. Obviously, Scrap Station, a pretty, um, a pretty good map for Zerg. So, uh, yep, we'll just have to see what Idra does and what kind of build he's going to be using over here. So, um, yeah, it is going to be a ZVP. Idra is going to be spawning as the Red Zerg at the 12 o'clock position, and Vader spawning as the Green Protoss at the 2 o'clock position. Did I say Red Protoss? I, I meant Red Zerg if I did, so excuse me. Uh, it is a little bit late actually, like 5 a.m. so... Um, I haven't really seen Idra... I haven't seen any replays of Idra getting released. Uh, apart from what he streams, I haven't seen Idra play since the GSL. So let's see if he's gonna, if he has come up with any sort of, uh, you know... Obviously Idra is not really uh, known for his creativity or anything like that, but he does have some pretty solid builds that he does show off in um, in Matches like in the GSL and you know really important games like that So um, yeah, looks like Vader is going to be creating some sort of wall off over here to protect his main and his natural and We're probably gonna see some sort of fast expand play from Vader given that he's getting the forge first and probably gonna be laying down some cans I'm not sure is he gonna try containing Idra Idra saw that probe, he's going down to the natural already, and uh, wow, let's see, Idra is really susceptible to um, rage quitting to things like cheese and uh, yeah, well, he didn't go for uh, hatch first, so he's getting his spawning pool, now got the hatch, let's see, is, is there going to be any, any attempt of a cannon? Uh, jeez. Oh, I don't really agree with this, Vader has scouted that spawning pool, still decides to, to lay down a, uh, a pylon, I'm not sure I agree with this. He should really be, uh, you know, just thinking about, you know, I should drop this right now. Spawning pool is out. I'm going to have some Zerglings incoming very, very soon. Actually, where's the Zerglings? There we go. Four Zerglings on the way for, um, four Zerglings on the way for Idra. So, we're just going to have to, um, to see if that's going to be enough. And the most likely it is going to be enough because that probe did go down. Now all these drones transiting back to the main base of Idra. And, um... And I'm back actually, I had to pause the replay because my cats were wreaking havoc in my house. So, um, <laughs> excuse me for that one. And here we have Idra taking care of that, um, you know, that cannon over there that could have caused some issues. But, uh, Vader did, uh, did let go of the idea after he saw those learnings. But the thing is, I I'm not sure even planting that pylon was necessary, but... Um, it did force. I think Idra would just uh, get more and more drones if uh, if that pylon wouldn't be planted down. But looks like Idra is moving across the map right now with four links, and there's a cannon set down over here. I think this is walled off. I'm not sure. There might be a, a gap over there on that side. I'm not exactly sure. We'll just have to see. Um, indeed, the probe does manage to slip through. So that side isn't completely walled off. He needs to uh, wall that off with a stalker or a or a zealot uh, soon. But Vader is moving across with another probe. He's probably going to try to scout with this. And uh, he might just get there. Thing is, the Zerglings are just slightly faster than this probe off creep. But um, the probe is not pro going to see that much. Just going to see this queen. Maybe it's probably going to get taken out by the queen really fast as soon as it gets here. So here we go. Hydra denying the scouting uh, with the queen. And uh, Vader just going for... He he's probably going to go for something like Voidrays in this case. When you expand like this... Uh, getting uh, getting the cybernetic score. It's just getting one zealot. Probably gonna plant this here to wall this off. Transiting some dr some uh, probes off the from the main mineral line to the natural mineral line. And Idra's trying to poke here again, trying to see what's happening. Another probe being sent for Vader. This is a probe, the third probe that would be taken out. But meantime, Idra has gotten that roach worn up and is uh, moving across with some roaches now. The thing is, these roaches. Uh, do outrange the cannons if you attack this gateway for instance it does outrage the cannon if you attack from this side So let's see if Idra is going to be doing that or taking down the pylon or anything But uh, doesn't look like it looks like he's just gonna go for these rocks, but uh, this is gonna take a while to take down 
But this is interesting uh, play from Idra, not being so greedy as he usually is. He usually, Idra wants to get as many drones as possible, but seeing the fact that uh, Protoss is really vulnerable right now just uh, made him think differently. And the Worm Kit research is far from done. It is getting chrono boosted though, but I don't think it's going to matter that much because Idra is just pouring in roaches all the time. The rally point is even set all the way here. So now he's going to be breaking through these rocks and he's going to be able to have a go at the natural. This cannon is not going to hold for long. Obviously, there we go. This cannon just getting taken out so fast. All these cannons are going to go down and wow, solid play from Idra right here. And uh, Vader is going to be forced to move back. He does have some cannons here, but he really doesn't have the gateways. He's probably going to lose his expansion. And his cybernetic score, this is going to be huge, and he really doesn't have any way to stop this other than attacking with the units he has right now, tanking with the probes, but I don't think that's really something he can do, and Idra doesn't even... I don't think Idra is even going to try attacking this. I think he's just going to be happy with the fact that he took down the expansion and moved back. Knowing Idra, he's a very calculated player, so I don't think he's going to take any unnecessary risks or get his forces killed by these cannons when he can just... Uh, um, be free to macro up it's really what he likes to do is really the, the kind of game he he plays so let's see is he going to engage i don't think he will engage once he sees all those cannons up there but we'll just have to see he might just break this head on i'm, I'm not sure if he wants to do this two stalkers as well and um looks like idra is going to be a little bit greedy no he doesn't move back and uh, he does see it's, it's a little bit too much for now so um most likely he's going to be getting just more and more units and getting to that uh, you know that critical mass and he's probably going to attack uh, from uh, from this side anyway I don't think he's gonna go head-on because the the cannons are walled off on that side not that it matters that much but still you can get more units to attack if you attack from from this side over here but uh, taking a look at what Vader is doing right now he's probably doing the only thing that seems reasonable there is a lair on the way for Idra but the Dark Shrine is almost done so meantime he has laid down a Twilight Council and a Dark Shrine, and Idra has not scouted this, I'm pretty sure Idra did not scout this, no he did not. So, that's gonna be pretty huge if DTs make their way in the game, and there's no Overseer out, he's probably gonna be able to defend with them at least, I'm not sure about attacking, he doesn't have any War Prism or Proxy Pylons anywhere close to Idra's base, so we're just gonna have to see how this is going to play out, but Idra having a lot of links over here, and, uh, well, Vader is setting down additional cannons, he's trying to expand again, but he's in such a vulnerable position. This is completely open and, well, one cannon being placed down over here, but that's pretty much it. Idra, he, he, Idra can just walk in here and destroy everything. I mean, he can just walk up here, take down the expansion, this cannon, the pile on the gateway that's being warped in right now, everything. So, um, Idra looking really good, getting a macro hatchery over here, close to his, um, to his natural. He's breaking down the rocks from both sides, so these rocks went down. Those rocks are soon going to be down uh, as well. And, uh, well, Vader just got his uh, Warp Gate research done again because, by the way, I omitted to say that he was chrono boosting the Warp Gate research, but when he lost his Cyber Core, the Warp Gate research wasn't done, so that's huge. He has, like, if you take a look at the army count right now, <laughs> 110 supply from Idra over 53 of Vader, and there's one DT over there. Actually, Idra notices this DT and a second DT following, but Idra sees this. He's probably gonna get, there we go, the Overseer is on the way over here, but, um, I mean, this is really, really messed up. Is he actually gonna, oh my god, <laughs> he actually circled that DT. Um, without seeing it, so there we go. Oh, one-shotted. That was pretty bad. So, um, well, if Vader wins this game, this is going to be incredible because, well, trying to snipe down the Hydra then, but yeah, there we go, getting sniped as well. A Robo Facility on the way for Vader. He's mining off two bases right now, but he really just doesn't have the army. 58 supply compared to 122 of Idra. Idra can just attack head-on right now and win this game, and I think that's exactly what he's going to be doing. He has, like, just a few Hydras. I don't even think he needs more Hydras. Uh, he, he's... I'm pretty sure he knows that his opponent doesn't really have anything, even though he didn't scout that much because he's been on one base for so long and investing in those DTs costs a lot of minerals and gas. So there we go. He's attacking the front. He's taking down the cannons. They're going down really, really fast. Ling's getting through. All these structures are going to go down, and uh, you can see just uh, additional uh, Zerglings being produced over here for Idra, but uh, there's one uh, annoying Dark Templar at Idra's natural, and he has to take a look back there and sort that out as well. But uh, he did take down the entire wall over here, the gateway as well. 
There's some uh, sentries, but they're getting sniped. And well, no force. There we go. Energy for one force field. Come on, force field here. No, no force field. So, um, stalkers are pulling back to this cannon. They're doing as much damage as they can to the roaches, but the roaches are just there's just too many roaches right now. And hydras. And um, even if Vader pulls out of this, he just uh, he just doesn't have the production facilities. Doesn't have what he needs to to be able to fight Idroff. Idroff taking down a lot of probes as well right now. I mean. A huge amount of probes went down over there. I'm going to take a look at this. And uh, 53 drones to 26 probes, actually 25. So that's really, really huge right there. And um, Idra's looking really good right now. He's streaming in units. He's getting constant reinforcements, obviously getting that third hatch up uh, over there, like I said before. And um, yeah, looks like Idra is just going to take the game right here, unless these um, these Immortals can just pull off some sort of miracle. But uh, I would say good game overall from Vader. And... Uh, well, I just think it came down to the fact that uh, Idra didn't play his typical... I mean, if you're Vader right now, you'd probably think to yourself, oh, this is Idra. You know, if I if I try to cheese him like that and he thinks he beat it, he's probably just going to go and drone up, you know, and be greedy the way he, he usually is. But um, that wasn't the case in this game. And uh, we've seen a different face of Idra, a face that is more, uh, let's say, aggressive in the early game. And that did a push that did just so much damage to, to the Protoss. He lost his, uh, his expansion. And basically, when you're in that situation, and the Zerg has his expansion up, and you just lost yours, he even lost the, the gateway, uh, I mean, the uh, warp gate research, as it was being um, researched at the Cybernetic Core. When you get to that kind of position, well, you're pretty much screwed. He was getting, I, th I think, the, the, the better solution in this case, instead of taking up to, to like getting Twilight Council and this Dark Shrine, he did get this double robotics facility up, but instead of getting all this stuff, he should just got Robotics Bay and try getting a few Colossus out. And I think Colossus would have been much better no matter what in this, uh, in this situation. But yeah, that was Vader's choice. Bet a little bit too much. Obviously, you can't really bet on Dark Templar on a map, on a map like, uh, like Scrap Station where you have such huge difficulties distances between the bases. You have no War Prism and no Proxy Palon either, so um, I really don't think uh, Dark Templar was the way to go, but yeah, a good game from Intra and good game from Team EG as well. Uh, score, I mean, they've won the series 4-1, so yeah, um, that's it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this cast and the previous games as well. Go watch them if you haven't. My channel is youtube.com slash exostarcraft if you're not watching my game over there. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers for um, tuning in and supporting me and offering me input and all sorts of uh, constructive criticism. And to everyone else out there, then uh, please join my subscriber base as well. Subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I, um, I just uh, upload content quite frequently. So yeah, probably going to start streaming with a friend of mine soon. Uh, it's probably going to be a weekly show. So we'll prob you'll probably see me on Team Liquid uh, in the featured streams um, in the near future. So yeah, that's it for me for now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more videos.